Hey guys and girls, welcome back. Um, so I'm gonna quickly fill you in because I'm extremely mad at this game. Um, basically, uh, well, it's not the game's fault, but I'm extremely mad at Camtasia. Camtasia, which is what I used to record, uh, didn't work. So I have to fill you in on what you missed because the, the stupid software wants to be a pain in the butt. Basically, I made my team, um, as you can see, both Joey and Bianca are in the group, um, and I made a couple of side characters as well that uh, we'll switch out to at some point. Um, we're inside 7th and Count, which basically takes us back in time to uh, the Sky Tower of when it was attacked. Um, we've been traversing this place, um, and they've been watching us, apparently. Uh, they said that we got such a high score and all this stuff, you know, like it's crazy. Um, that her her prophecy seems to be coming true. So I think I'm assuming Emily might be in, um, might be back and prophesizing. Uh, she's the one that's prophesizing of the of the Dragon Hunter rebirth. Um, I didn't show uh, these off too as well. Um, basically, the duelist has is like. It reminds me of Yu-Gi-Oh, which is kind of cool, because, like, you summon different elemental types that attack, um, which is pretty awesome. And, uh, each turn you get another card. It is random, though, so, yeah, but, um, you get, you know, ice, lightning, fire, lots of different cards to choose from. This is going to be a really short part, because I, I recorded a long part and it didn't work out well. Sadly. Wait, Lucas, this one wasn't in the manual. And it's way stronger than the other monsters you've fought so far. How do you know it's so strong? How? Well, based on its frame and dermal feature features, it's clearly it clearly has both the power and mobility. Wait, how do I know all this? Even I'm surprised. Maybe it's a rare monster. No matter, you have to be careful. Alright, so this is one of the baby dragons. So I've done this in the past recording, just so you guys know. Um, I might go a little bit farther, I guess, just because I've done a lot of this and we have to do it again. really annoying. I can't believe it did that. Because I lost probably like almost 20 minutes. Which is going to be two episodes in itself. I'll try and record maybe 10 minutes. If I can. Almost got him. Fireball. Ow. No way. They beat it? I think we found ourselves the second key. Playtime is over. Excuse me! Excuse me! Huh? Did we do something wrong? Congratulations, you have been chosen! Chosen? Now then, come along with me to the headquarters of Noden. 
Don't worry, we'll explain everything once we get there. What should we do? Mm, let's go with it for now. Then it's decided. This is your chance to open the door to a world you could only before dream about. This way, please. Follow me. Hmm? What seems to be the problem? Please, come along. Uh, wait for me. So they really were scouting for high scores. I thought that was just an urban legend. What the hell? How did something like that beat my score? Are we really gonna have to rely on this shitty team? Mr. Rabbit, sir? Eh, I'm not a rabbit, brat. Huh? Wipe that dumb look off your face. From now on, you call me the Almighty Nagamimi. Got it? I'm not some weird doll, and I'm definitely not a rabbit. Uh, Almighty Nagamimi? What's going on? Why are you being so rude to us? <sighs> this is the real me. I hate having to act all prim and proper for work. Now, if you want to survive here, I suggest you stop treating me like some cutesy little rabbit. Or else you'll regret it. I'll personally make sure of that. Get it? Got it? Good. We'll regret it. And I wonder what he means by survive. How long are you gonna dick around over there? Nolan's headquarters is this way. Come on, follow me. Wow, that's a crest. A crest, uh, rabbit. This is the headquarters of Nodin's Enterprises, developer of 7th and Count. We only just moved from America last month, though, so it's still pretty empty. Come on, we'll be going to the third floor, the conference floor. Get on that ele elevator and go. Our boss is right ahead. Let's go. Hurry up. Lucas. Can you tell me what's going on? Uh, fine, but listen closely. I'm only gonna say this once. Seventh Count is no ordinary game. Rather, it's a testing device to seek out those who possess a unique ability. What kind of ability? The power to slay dragons. According to governmental specifications, you're the perfect fighting specimen. What about me? I can't fight. There are many kinds of strengths. You may be absurdly weak, but you do have key navigators, qualities. Me? A navigator? Back on point. This was all part of the scouting process. We're short on manpower at the moment. So if you do well, you get me as a boss. Doesn't that bring tears of joy to your stupid little eyes? Wait, haven't dragons been gone for almost a century now? You can ask all the questions you want to the higher-ups. Come on, they won't wait forever. Jovial woman. Welcome to Nodens. Oh, our cuties have finally arrived. Mmm, smooch. Ah. My name is Julieta. I'm the director of the develop... Mint Sector at Nodens. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> His real name is Jirota Tomari, though. Ah, no, no. Forget that name immediately. The only name I have is Julieta. That's it. Hmm. I think Jirota is a nice name, too. Oh, uh, moving on. This woman here is... Hi, hi. I'm Allie. Her full name is Allie Nodens. Despite how she looks, she's the president of our company. This is a game company, right? Hmm, is that where, what we're going with now? You're correct. Nodens Enterprises is the world's leading game corporation. We craft life-changing experiences for gamers far and wide. However, that is nothing but a front. 
Anyway, let's all take a seat. It's time for a story time with Julieta. Yes, yes, please, sit wherever you'd like. Sorry for dragging you all in here. But there are important matters we need to discuss. So I was wrong, it wasn't her. I thought it was... It would be. Do you know about the incident of the... Of 80 years ago? The dragon calamities of 2020 and 2021? Oh, wait. 2021 must be the second game of 2020. Because they did have a second game that came out. So, that's probably why it was 2021. Um, I think I've heard of them before. I see. I'd expect you have. It began with the coming of the true dragons and the spread of the poison flower called Dragon's Bane. A planet enveloped in Dragon's Bane will become nothing doomed. Nothing. Doomed to be consumed by the true dragons. It is said that there are seven of these true dragons throughout the universe. In 2020 and the year following, two true dragons invaded Earth. Dragons may nearly engulfed us. However, thanks to a team called Murakumo, we were able to fend both of them off. Damn, Murakumo. <laughs> My grandpa told me about them. Murakumo, Unit 13, the Dragon Hunters. That's cool. <laughs> that, like, they've kept it true to uh, the name of the old team. On to the main topic. We've learned a great deal about dragons from samples taken after the calamity. Anatomy, ecology, all of this analytical data is assembled into a portfoli portfolio called the Dragon Chronicle. Our true objective is to gather as many true dragon samples as we can and complete the Dragon Chronicle. But why? Doing so will allow us to defeat the seventh true dragon, VFD. Even in this apparent time of peace, the seventh and final true dragon will soon awaken. The true dragon responsible for both creation and destruction. We call this ruler of reason VFD. Once it shows itself, our planet will face its demise. Are you wondering how we know all of this? I assure you, we are not the only ones. There are others in the know, though primarily just the ISDF and world government agencies. This info is simply not publicly available. However, various signs point to the dragon's return. Global warming, disappearance of the Caribbean plate, and most importantly, dragon sickness. Dragon sickness? I have a friend who's been coughing. I see. So your friend has been infected too. As much as it pains me to say it, this friend of yours doesn't have much longer to live. Oh no, Mio! Dragon sickness is an untreatable disease caused by the per permeation of dragon miasma. Therefore, the thicker the miasma becomes, the more people will come down, yeah. down with dragon sickness. Miasma has been here since the calamity, yet the patient count has shot up in the past few years. This rise serves as another sign that a true dragon is about to descend upon humanity. I don't expect we have much time once the dragons come. This information will spread. The infestation will begin. The dragon's bane will bloom. And two, seek out the end of this planet. VFD will appear. How do we stop it? We complete the Dragon Chronicle. You who stand on the threshold between past and future have the power to do so. VFD is the ultimate true dragon. Even while lying dormant, it can begin. It can bring about global calamities. However, we could turn the tables if we manage to complete the Dragon Chronicle. If we can gain information about the true dragons and acquire their energy, we'll have a chance. On the other hand, if we fail, humanity will be extinguished. N no. Hence the ultimate goal of Nodens is the completion of the Dragon Chronicle. I bet we'll be able we'll even be able to find a cure for dragon sickness if we manage to complete it. But in order to do so, we'll need a dragon hunter. That's where you come in. We want your cooperation in our plan to complete the Dragon Chronicle. Code VFD. So what do I have to do? Hunt hunt hunt. What we need is for you to hunt as many dragons as you can and collect samples from them. Where can I find these dragons? That's, well... Excuse me, I don't think I can handle all of this. I'm just going to go home. Oh my, please don't think that way. Your navigation skills are quite advanced. But there's no way I can do this. I'm not a navigator. I can't save the world. I'd probably just get in the way. I see. That's what you wish. <sighs> I'm sorry, Lucas. It's a shame, but we can't drag someone onto the battlefield if they have no will to fight. I ran away again. All I ever do is run. <laughs>